Thanks very much, Leon. Hi, my name is Ravi Raisalingam, and I'm a physician at VA Boston Healthcare and an MIT Catalyst Fellow. On behalf of the Roach Lab, I'm excited to present to you our project, a novel device for treatment of obstructive sleep apnea in people with Down syndrome. I would like you to imagine holding your breath for as long as you can, fighting that growing urge to breathe until suddenly gasping for air, and then imagine repeating this over and over again, multiple times per hour. Obstructive sleep apnea, or OSA, describes a condition where this happens due to the episodic collapse of the muscles of the throat. The only difference is that you're asleep, blissfully unaware of the damage this is doing to your body. These obstructions to breathing or apnea episodes typically occur at the back of the throat and involves the tongue and the soft palate as marked by the X in this picture. Frequent apnea episodes result in disrupted sleep and daytime sleepiness. OSA is extremely common in a genetic condition called Down syndrome. OSA affects 30 to 50% of Down syndrome children and 90% of adults. This is thought to be related to a reduction in the size of the bones of the face, causing a tongue that already has less muscle tone to occupy more space in the mouth. Disruption of sleep causes significant cognitive decline, in particular, the development of executive functions such as planning, problem solving, and emotional control. This ultimately affects the ability to progress to independence. It is also associated with increased risk of cardiovascular disease, and in particular, a rise in the pressure in the lungs called pulmonary hypertension. OSA is also common in the general population. 17% of men and 9% of women aged 50 to 70 have moderate to severe OSA in the US. It is very likely that you already know someone who suffers from this condition. In addition to daytime sleepiness, OSA has been associated with an increased risk of heart attack, stroke, and premature death. There are treatments that are available that can prevent apnea episodes. The most commonly prescribed is called continuous positive airway pressure, or CPAP. This describes a device that forces air continuously through a wide bore tube and a tight-fitting mask that fits over the nose or nose and mouth. Much less commonly used is a mandibular advancement oral device, which is a mechanical hinge that forces the lower jaw forward and therefore the tongue, relieving the obstruction at the back of the throat. As you can imagine, these solutions are uncomfortable. CPAP is the current gold standard treatment. However, only 17% of Down syndrome OSA patients prescribed CPAP have a mask that fits and use the device for greater than four hours per night, while in the general population, only 60% of OSA patients tolerate CPAP. Our approach, therefore, has been to develop a device that not only prevents apnea episodes, but is comfortable enough for a patient to use on a regular basis for a prolonged period of time, something that is necessary to treat a chronic condition. This focus on comfort and usability is even more important when considering a device for children. Our device uses a custom-fit dental aligner that not only goes over the teeth, but extends back across the palate and allows for the transmission of intraoral suction stabilize tongue position. Low level suction is used to stabilize the tongue and is similar to what you may have experienced when visiting a dentist. Ultimately, this prevents obstruction and promotes nasal breathing, which is the preferred route of respiration. Dental aligners are widely known and a highly successful established method for orthodontic treatment. The technology is advanced to such an extent regarding comfort and discreetness that people forget that they're even wearing them. We have leveraged these advances and have used this technology as a platform to add a method to stabilize the muscles of the mouth and the throat. Digital intraoral scanning is a technology that has revolutionized orthodontic treatment by allowing a quick and accurate impression of the oral cavity to be taken in minutes. This is especially important when treating children. We have used this technology to understand the individual nature of how the palate interacts with the tongue and have developed insights that form the basis of a unique design and approach for treating OSA. Our device solves the issues that have prevented CPAP from meeting the needs of a significant proportion of OSA patients. As we use suction rather than forced air, our device does not need a tight-fitting mask in order to be effective. Discomfort from the mask is the most common cited reason for the inability to tolerate CPAP. The level of suction used by a device is low and can be transmitted through a small, discrete tube rather than the monster tubing that CPAP uses. This allows us the opportunity to miniaturize the size of the pump and its components into a wearable form factor.
the overall impact of our device on the sleep environment is minimal. Our approach is poised to have a significant impact on a large number of people. The OSA therapeutic device market is large and well-established. The disease is common, with almost 6 million people diagnosed with OSA in the US. The current total market value is in excess of 3 billion US dollars. This market is also expected to grow based on changing demographics and a rise in risk factors such as obesity. There's also a general increased awareness and capability to detect sleep disorders in the community. Our ability to gain traction in this large market will allow the opportunity to focus on specific populations where the prevalence of OSA is especially high, such as Down syndrome. We have filed a provisional patent for our technology and have identified that there's already a regulatory precedent that guides the evaluation of intraoral sleep devices. In addition, reimbursement codes for intraoral sleep devices already exist for private insured and Medicare patients. As participants in the MIT i customer discovery program, we have learned that there's already an established pipeline for delivery of OSA treatment devices. Based upon our interviews with sleep specialists, the main problem, however, has been a lack of effective treatment tools that are comfortable enough for nightly use. We envision our customers will be sleep physicians who traditionally have been the decision makers regarding treatment choice. In addition to the standard paradigm, we believe our approach based on a dental appliance enables a second market pathway that involves partnering with dentists specialized in sleep disorders. We have made a tremendous amount of progress over the last few years from identifying and validating a need conceiving a solution and fabricating a prototype that we have tested in healthy volunteers for proof of principle. We are currently optimizing this prototype for a planned clinical study in OSA patients later this year. Our project has benefited from the generous support of a number of funding organizations. We've also built our team to strategically take advantage of skill sets necessary to accelerate our progress. Our goal is to establish a company once we've demonstrated the clinical efficacy of this approach. We are seeking interested parties, especially those with expertise in regulation of medical devices, as well as management expertise. We also welcome funding organizations willing to support our project. We have a tremendous team that includes MIT postdoctoral and undergraduate engineering students, sleep physicians, researchers, and dentists, as well as programmatic clinical and technical advisors from the wider MIT and Boston healthcare innovation communities. We hope you will join us in our breakout room and in our goal to get rid of the mask. Thank you very much.